Hello everyone, this is the Super Wig Maker and today I'm making a small update on a previous video that I have uploaded which is heat sealing the knots on a unit. Now this is a wig that I'm currently making. If you see that I only have this area in the front to make but I'm gonna talk about this in another video and exactly what I did. What I'm doing in this one, this is a synthetic, so what I'm doing is that I'm actually ventilating hair this is the bag that has more bulky knots and this is the fronter, I mean this is even in the crown and this is full high definition, single strand, single knot and I'm heat treating the knots here because uh, it's synthetic and there's no way I can bleach them uh, even if it was not synthetic I would still heat treat the knots I always do that because I want the knots to be not just visually tiny when you heat treat the knots you also make them more secure and then by permanently permanently sealing them you make the best job so what I did is that all this area from here to here I have ventilated without heat treating the knots I don't know if this is if you can see the difference between these knots is it visible? nope here I don't know yeah it could be okay this is Okay. The, this is treated, this is not treated. As you can see also the hair here is a little more kinky because of the ven ventilation is actually uh, kind of ruining the, the surface of the hair. So we are going to the first kind of, this is like a question and answer video but also I'm just making an update. So there is a lady named Lady Mayala and she said, hey super weak maker, I really enjoy your tutorials. Quick question. For treating a larger area, would an iron normally used for clothing work as well? Here is what. When you... Uh, what I did in the previous video is that I take a very, very, very thin section of hair. Like that. And I'm taking the this little tiny... Uh, hair straightener, this is not open now, it's not hot. I'm not doing the job, but I'm just showing you. Just put it here, very close to the roots, making sure that the knots are also getting the heat. And then when it's hot, you just pull the strands, pull it, and make sure that by pulling this, the hair is hot, so it's more malleable. Thus, the knots will turn tiny, and by keeping it like that, it will cool down in this uh, new shape so it's gonna be heat treated and much uh, tinier. It's like when you just uh, want to perm the hair or uh, you know curl it, you just do it like that, you heat it then you remove it, you keep it the hair a little bit and when you leave it it's already curly. Something like that happens with uh, knots. Now remember what I said you really have to put the hair, the hair straightened very close to the knots and treat that area really important. I mean, you will eventually straighten the rest of the hair, but what is more important is to do it in the knots first. So, if let's say that you have this area, okay, this is a big enough area for what you asked. If I put an iron on top of here, these knots here don't take the heat because there there are hair on top of that. Yeah, eventually everything will get heated up, but we are risking of melting the hair and damaging the hair so um, we don't really want to, we want to make sure that the heat goes straight to the knots and not just you know first in the hair and then on the knots and the, the next thing we need to do is that we need to keep attention if you have a very huge area like for example right now this is getting pulled but this is loose as you see so these knots wouldn't get the, the effect of uh, making the knots very tiny, so you're actually doing nothing here. You honestly cannot escape. Oops, you cannot escape the the process of making it into thinner sections, vertically or horizontally. It doesn't really matter. You really need to make smaller sections in order to address the heat in the knots here. Pull it, pull it really tight. Let it cool down, and then just the knots are gonna be straight enough. So this was one of the questions, and there is an indirect. There is another question which is like implying she actually knows what she, what I mean. Is from Diva for God One. She says, "Hi, super wig maker. So with the blow dryer, just apply the heat to the roots and pull slightly. Correct? Thanks. 
I answer her, yeah, this is correct, just you need to part the hair, etc, etc, because the same thing applies with the blow dryer. But with the blow dryer, you can uh, have the, you can treat a bigger area. And I'm going to show you right now on a video. The thing with the blow dryer is that you will uh, section the hair again. You're going to put the blow dryer right here to blow air, and the air will penetrate this as well, because as you see, this is like, you know, this is uh, rigid, you know, air can pass through that. So you can have this huge area. If I was using the hair straightener, first of all, the plates are not as big to treat all this area at the same time, and then I would have to, you know, kind of push this here to make sure that it goes everywhere. So with the hair straightener, I would use a much smaller slice. Now let me show you with the hair, with the blow dryer how I would do that. I'm separating a little bit of hair here. I have my blow dryer with a little tip like that because this is going to help. And what I'm going to be doing is I will first try to get a, an equal tension grip to all the hair like that. I hope I'm on frame. Blow dry. dry the, the, the hair over here and then just keep attention on that just like that I am more than sure that I'm not doing the, the, the same job with the hair straightener but uh, yeah straighten the roots as well the knots seem slightly smaller but I think that I would definitely 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 use the hair straightening method with a tiny tool you don't need to do this every time you wear your unit you do it once and then within time the hair will start reverting back to the original shape so you'll have to repeat that you know uh, I don't know how how often with wear and tear you might need to do this like once a month I don't know even less if you permanently seal the knots after you hit to treat them you might never even want to need to do that but if you apply heat for styling it and it goes to the knots they might revert back to the original loser shape. So let me just show you once again. Now I'm pulling the knot, they're still hot, they're still tightening. turns slightly tighter but as I told you I really prefer the other method it's more um, precise and definitely does much a much better job and at this uh, the same way you are making sure that the knots are going to be tinier because you inevitably need smaller sections so you pay too much attention you do double or triple the, the job you would do with the blow dryer but with the blow dryer i don't know if this is visible the knots don't seem to have like a huge difference i don't know i think they're good enough but this is slightly bigger than that it did a job but it's not the best job and i really really think that since you're doing this once, do it correctly, do it the, the best way and take advantage of everything. So right now the, I answered the questions, I showed you how to do it with a blow dryer, you still can do a chunk of hair, you can still can do all that with a blow dryer, you still need to take the sections, but um, it's, it's, it's a, little, a little faster and less precise than the straightener. So the video has come to an end, thanks for watching and right now I'm actually going to uh, do all this area with my heating tool like I normally do that, I'm going to fast forward that and let you just see it. So the video has come to an end, you don't really need to see the video from now on, it's the same like the previous one, I'm just going to use my method for all this. And stay tuned because when I finish this unit I still have a little bit, not a little bit, I have quite a lot, from ear to ear all the hairline this is the hairline and all this i made a mistake to be honest from here all the way here i have fine swiss lace and i'm ventilating single strand single knot i'm just wasting my time here 
but oh well, I will finish this unit and then just make a video and show you exactly what I did and how this looks. Stay tuned, thanks for watching.